what's up guys welcome back to the otg universe channel guys and today we gotta have a serious talk i am so outdone with wwe 2k20 i'm also go apologize for the setup i was i'm so needed to make this video i was like i don't even care about the setup this is like a serious personal one-on-one -on -one with you guys i cannot sit here and say to people that wwe 2k20 is a great game that it's a good game that it's a fair game that it is a average game this game sucks i was excited for this year i've been trying to really amp up the the wrestling content here on the channel and i've been trying to really make some moves and some waves here and in, in with the channel and i started off this channel doing wrestling content some of my first videos were wrestling content um some of my favorite videos on my channel is my wrestling content some of my best videos on my channel is the wrestling content but this game has brought all of that to a halt the game crashes the game has bugs it has odd glitches at times Things don't work the way they should. The creation suite does not always load characters and community creations like it should. It will freeze the game up and then crash it. I have universe mode, which every time I go to edit a match in universe mode, the game crashes. There are modes that we are missing, like create a, 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 a championship. And we already know that that's coming later on. But that's a problem for a lot of creators. Terrible models for characters. This was not the year for WWE 2K20. And they can sit there and dress it up on Twitter as much as they like. Oh, we know what the problem is. We're fixed that. They waited two weeks for a day one type of patch. And the day one patch wasn't really a day one patch. It was more like a six months of go development type of patch. And people then were okay with the game. No, still not happy with it. Still have issues, still have problems with this game. The other thing that really frustrates me that I don't think people really talked about. They didn't really like kind of notice. There were some signs this year that were very glaring right the 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 lack of communication the lack of pictures the lack of gameplay very like one or one trailer or something like that one or two trailers very very quiet and a lot of people took that as oh well maybe they got something big they got something real big no they had nothing big it was just a terrible game one thing that they discussed now they've they've released this by now but I still think it's terrible is the DLC for this game. We had the SmackDown edition as the, the super, you know, the regular, the deluxe, the SmackDown edition that came with, you know, characters that look bad. The DLC that we normally know, the NXT Rising Stars, the Moves Pack, all those packs that we know, the, 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 the extra characters we know come, we didn't get that this year. They didn't discuss that. What they discussed was the 2K originals. That's our DLC. And the problem with that is that we don't know what to expect. Now they showed the arenas that they're or the the themes of each 2K original that they're coming out with, which seem completely like half interesting and then half archaic. That's like eh. Like, I was interested in the Southpaw Wrestling. I think that's something a lot of people want to see, and that seems exciting. But the Wastelands, the Futuristic one, the Miami Vice-looking one, I don't know. These do not look exciting. And if we accept it this year, they're going to keep doing it. 2K is disrespectful with this roster. Because we have gotten a handful not i was gonna put them together that's too much 
a handful of new superstars in this game. That is ridiculous. I remember the reason why I think people think that games like SmackDown Here Comes the Pain and maybe even some of the SmackDown versus Raws were actually great games and legendary games to this day. Even No Mercy, stuff like that, was because when we played those games, we were playing with the superstars who were on television. Now, contract wise, I'm sure there were superstars at those times in those years, especially I remember Here Comes the Pain, where we were missing certain stars. Fine. But the majority of that roster was made up of people who were in the game. These years nowadays, they don't do that. They give us a handful of people we see on TV, a baby scoop of what's on NXT, and then like this overdone mix of legends. I am tired for years getting 88 Ric Flair, 92 Ric Flair, 85 Ric Flair. I am tired of three Ric Flairs that I don't play with. I'm tired of playing with uh, three Undertakers, uh, the, uh, the, the American Bike Riding Undertaker, the Ministry of Darkness, the regular Undertaker we have today. No need for all of this. We randomly had Mick Foley, then we lost him. Now we got Mankind, but we don't have Do Love. We don't. This roster is ridiculous, and 2K knows this. They know for a fact that if they were really about creating serious wrestling games, we would have authentic rosters with not just SmackDown and Raw, and some of those people are missing, but NXT, NXT UK. We don't have something as simple as a performance arena, performance, uh, the performance center arena. We don't even have that. They're not trying to create authentic WWE video games. They're just saying, let's try to give a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and just say, oh, we tried. We couldn't get everything in time. But this happens when you get year-to-year -year releases. And this year is a mess. And listen, for a lot of creators, whether is whether you're Chris Dink, whether you're Brandon, uh, does everything, who has said a lot on Twitter about this game, uh, whether you're uh, Viking Gaming, who has said a lot on, about this game on Twitter, and, and of course, even myself, Pulse, you name them, people are telling the same story. As a content creator, it is unbearable to play 2K20. I tried to do a mixed tag universe and this game is hard to play. It's hard to simulate and just let the game play by itself. It is a nerve wracking thing and I'm struggling as a content creator to provide wrestling content. I cannot play showcase mode when it's sloppy as it is it's hard to play the my career when my female my player face is lopsided because of the graphics where the story itself has the male playing a dumb wrestling airhead this game this year was built around the women's revolution and before people start going crazy about me somehow being a sexist or a uh, feminine or whatever. This game was literally put together and I'm sure it was like, let's just center everything around the women. Let's put the mixed tag in there so they can be in tag matches. Let's put the women tag titles on there. Let's put, uh, let, let, let's go ahead and do, put a female my player. Let's make her the important, strong WWE fan and make the male guy just the dumb idiot friend. This is ridiculous, ridiculous. And I'm sitting here asking myself, 
how can I play this? And, and, and wholeheartedly enjoy the game. Wholeheartedly just play it like it's it's fun. And I've tried. I, I tried and I'm not sure I can do it. I'm not sure I can do it. I If that means I'm not going to get the views for the videos for that content, I'm okay with that. Because I can't play this game. I'm sick of it. I spent weeks before I even put out content trying to create content, learn the game, give it a chance, see what I could do with it. And there's nothing I can do. There's not much I want to do. And this is the year where we have to say something. Our voice must not just be heard on the first two weeks. It has to be heard throughout the entire cycle. The entire cycle. 2K has done this for years now. Since 2K12, every year has been a rebuild year. Every year it's a restart, it's a refresh. 2K refresh, 2K13 refresh, 2K14 refresh, 2K15 refresh, 2K16, 17, 18. 19 was the year where it was like, I think they know what they're doing now. Well, there were some things that, yeah. If they're willing to listen in the community, if they're willing to try to do things different, if they're willing to break the mold and go a different route, we may be on to something. And then it went down the drain. Ukes left. We all heard this story. This is this was check out Chris Dink's video where he interviewed them. They were like, we're not trying to blame Ukes, but Ukes left. We don't have this mode because well we're not gonna blame Ukes, but Ukes left. We didn't put this mode in the game. Not Ukes fault, but Ukes left. That was the answer for everything. Ukes left, Ukes left, Ukes left. That they gave this to us and said pay full price. That they gave this to us and said pay full price for the deluxe. Pay full price. Pay full price for the special edition. The SmackDown edition. Over a hundred dollars for a broken game. Because you gave me some collectibles. And I had to wait two weeks for a patch. And one week for Bray Wyatt. I'm done with this game. Done. I want to finish the Mixed Match Challenge. Universe that we created. I'm, I want to finish that. Because it's, it's something I don't know a lot of people are doing. And I like it. I want to see it all play out. But I don't know about the rest of this game. I'm not the person who's just going to sit there and make videos. I'm not that content creator. I'm not going to make videos of all this stuff going on and then just get the views. And I hate this game. If I hate this game, I'm not going to be trying to post the Southpaw wrestling and all this other stuff. If the game's not fixed, if the core game is not fixed. Why would I post it? Because I can get the views? Because you would sit there and watch all the views and all? That's not real content created. That's just saying I'm throwing out stuff just so I can get the likes, just so I can get the hits, just so I can get the views. When inside of my heart as a gamer, this game sucks. The regular universe mode that I have planned does not want to play the way it's supposed to. I don't even know if I finish the mixed match universe if it can if that starts to act up. I don't care how many sales they get. I've been telling people not to even buy the game. Why? Why waste your money? Maybe on PC people are having a great time. I don't know. But my community creation is broke. My universe is broke. My gameplay is whack. The my career is whack. Showcase mode is whack. There's nothing about this game that's appealing. 2K originals? Okay, sure. Can I get a trailer for what's in that? Or do I have to just wait because you don't even know what you're going to do with that? That's my point. We're done. We're out of here. Hit that like button like never before. Subscribe to One Touch Universe and I will catch you on the flip side. Salute. I'm going to keep it real about this game.